Welcome to my Lizard Girl Group's Secret Life of Bees creative portion. Please take a seat, grab some popcorn, and get cozy, because you are about to take part in a once-in-a-lifetime event. Lily Owens is a young girl who is passionate about literature and detesting her father, but said cruel and abusive father Terrence Ray is not passionate for either of those activities. And when Lily's doing her own business or nothing at all, Terrence punishes her with odd and grueling punishments. And you may be thinking, wow, Philip, if her dad is so cruel, why doesn't her mother intervene? Well, my comrades, said mother died in an incident when Lily was very young. And Lily does not remember clearly, but all she knows is that she took part in The setting in of this <gasps> novel, however, is Sylvan, South Carolina in the mid-1960s. And don't mm -hmm. worry if you forgot what that was like I did. South Carolina is located right about here on the U.S. Ooh. map. The Sylvan, however, does not exist. One day, Lily and her caretaker slash nanny slash babysitter, Rosaline, wake up early in the morning from the peach plantation they live on to go vote. Because what happened was, Rosaline saw a man on TV say she can vote through the Civil Rights Act. So you best believe they gonna vote. But back to the point, they're on their way to vote. But it's really, really hot for the morning. So they stop by a church and take a siesta. And this, my classmates, is where we pick off in our story. Bro, are you having to vote? Yeah. It's pretty hot. So I think we need a fan. This fan's pretty nice. So let's go vote with this fan. Yeah, this fan looks really well. You can you tell. Hello again, my friends. Lily and Rosaline with their newly acquired fan are much like Terry Crews in White Chicks because they are. Make them away downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass and home down. But what happens in the novel is not like the song. It's not very happy because Lily and Rosaline are stopped by some mean men in the middle of town. Whoa, what are you Whoa. doing here? I'm trying to vote, bro. Yeah, black people <laughs> shouldn't vote. You Whoa. look like you look like a Mexican dude. Be gone, thought. <laughs> oh no, I'm so intimidated. Oh no. 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 Basically what happened after this scene was that Lily, being the informative and curious person she is, she wanted to learn more about her dead mom, but she didn't have anyone to take her. And her caretaker, Rosalie, was in jail. So what happened was they basically broke out of jail, the cool kids they are. Then they ran, like, hitchhiked their way all the way to North Carolina. And if you don't forgot where I was, like, I did, guess remember. North of South Carolina, which made me think, wow, shouldn't there be a Middle Carolina? But I digress. Let's fast forwarding through some boring parts of the book. Lily and Rosaline find a familiar face, the Black Mary. Her, Lily's mom had a statue of it, but it's also on a jar of honey of the Boatwright sisters. Now, the Boatwright sisters, they're some cool cats. They take Lily and Rosaline in for no reason, just because they're nice. And after through the weeks, they go through some cool honey escapades. And then they meet Zach, an intern slash worker of the Boat Rest Sisters, who's really good at everything and really cool too. Well, one day, Zach and Lily are out like buying new radiators when they meet a local celebrity in town. He just walks in movie with his friends, but then Zach sees his friends, who, like the b good people they are, peer pressure him into bullying the celebrity who did nothing bad to them. Hey, you can't do that! In the name of the law, I'm arresting you! Get over here! You do! I'm a new guy! Well, you know, last go and peep, peep, Rosalie and Lily living the best life. But then one day, T-Ray shows up, and who drove all the way down from South Carolina to hear me out, North Carolina. And Lily's like, what are you doing here? And T-Ray's like, I want to bring you home. And Lily freaks out like a toddler at a Christmas party, doesn't want to leave her grandparents. And this is the ensuing chaos. Where have you been? Uh. Do you know how much I've been made fun of? All the stuff I've been told? 
I've been looking for you forever and you've been worrying. I've been trying to find out the truth about my mom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.